Bach Run Nation and welcome. It's Craig, your Let's Go to the Casino Again host. Hey, we are taking another trip to Hollywood Casino in Toledo, Ohio. I just happened to be coming by and so I thought I'd stop in again and see if we could do some action playing. Now, I did a casino tour of Hollywood Casino last time. Well, not last time, but uh, before. Um, I'm going to leave a link to the description down below if you want to check out the full video of the casino tour I did. And uh, that was pretty interesting. That was my first time there. Uh, we came back this time. I'm going to be, my game plan is I'm going to be playing Stadium Baccarat with a $900 bankroll. And we're going to see if we can make some money or crash and burn. Um, as opposed to my last trip there, this was different. A lot has changed on the inside. They um, totally moved things around. Um, before there was this little high limit room, but now they have like this whole big high limit VIP section, which is actually really nice. I kind of really like it. Um, but I wasn't prepared to do high limit today because I just brought enough for uh, Stadium Baccarat. Um, when I first walked in, I had to leave because security took me to the ground thinking I was recording. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> No, uh, but seriously, um, recording inside this time, I felt it was too obvious. Uh, one, I was trying to do landscape mode, you know, so I'm like trying to hold the phone like this. And that's kind of obvious that you're recording <laughs> as opposed to this where I can kind of get away with. Yeah, I'm just talking to someone on my phone. Uh, so I, I kind of felt it was a little too obvious that I was recording in there. And um, also... There was so many people in there today. And I was about the same time I was there last time where it was pretty much empty. Well, there they everybody came in now. <laughs> it was pretty packed. They also um, took out a whole section and made it all poker. It's like a huge poker area now. So it was really neat. Uh, you can see right here, here's the um, Stadium Baccarat that I was checking out on the last video. And this is where I was playing. I was right at that seat over there, I think it was. Um... But that was interesting, and um, let me show you a clip here of my bankroll before we went in. All right, we made it back to Hollywood Casino in Toledo, Ohio. Here is our buy-in we're going to be taking in to the casino, And hopefully we'll see $900 plus some when we leave. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I had my 900 bucks and we went in the door. And um, first thing I realized is from the last video how loud the music was. And I knew the music was going to be even louder over at the Stadium Baccarat area. So I forgot I was going to bring earplugs in with me. Yep, <laughs> that was my defense mechanism. I was going to wear earplugs so I can concentrate. So I left, went back out, got my earplugs, came back in, and it, they worked really good. I mean, I still could hear everybody and, and um, everything that was going on, but it was like it kind of filtered out the loud music, which was kind of nice. I actually could enjoy the music now because it wasn't so bam, bam in my head. Anyways, um, the other goal is what we're going to be doing is... Uh, this was actually suggested by a member that I try this sequence and I kind of tweaked it a little. So um, I'm going to be using a different betting sequence and we're going to be starting with uh, $5 units um, because right here at the Stadium Baccarat, um, I'll probably throw up a shot if you can't see it. It's um, $5 to, I don't remember, I can't tell from the screen right there, but um, I'll throw up something closer shots. Uh, but anyways... Minimum bet was $5. Now you see over here, we got um, two Bakura screens playing, uh, two shoes playing at the same time. I started on the first screen, or <laughs> can I say it's screen, uh, the first uh, shoe. Um, that went really good, pretty quick. Uh, my goal was to hit $25 a win per shoe is what I've normally been doing, which we will be going and playing some Bakura later on. 
uh, showing you how I'm using the P4 system with this um, new bedding sequence I'm using. Now, the first shoe, as I said, uh, went well. Uh, it was pretty quick. I got $34. Uh, I think it was right around $34. I'm not sure. I'll check the video, but um, it was $34 pretty quick. So then I thought, okay, I could either take some, take a break or go to the second shoe that they have there. So I went to the um, second shoe and I started playing. I was going okay. I got about, I don't know, four or five hands in and all of a sudden it starts a new shoe on me. I'm like, what the hell? Um, I thought, okay, well maybe I, I didn't see what hand it started at and it maybe you know maybe i made a mistake i jumped in too late so i started continuing on which kind of messes up my progression now because now i'm starting a fresh shoe so um i started again and again i got about i don't know how many it was somewhere around six hands in again and i'm watching it now closely and that time i think it was six hands in and it started another new shoe I'm like, holy cow, what is going on? This is nuts. So now, and I was down a couple levels in my progression. So now I'm like really getting screwed up here because the shoe starts keeps uh, restarting. So it's like, all right, well, gosh, there's not much I can do. So I'm just going to continue on. And, you know, within another five or so hands, it did it again. It started a fresh shoe. I'm like, okay, this is nuts. There's like, there's really no one to talk to you about this. It's like, what is going on with this um, Bakra shoe? It's restarted three times in like 20 some hands. So um, I went back to the first shoe, which still was doing the normal sequence of uh, hands. And um, I just kept an eye on the second shoe to see if it would restart again. So now I'm down and I'm on my first um, shoe back on the first shoe and it wasn't going good at all because I was already down and now things are screwed up and I got down to my final bet already I'm like holy crap I'm gonna lose it all right here because of this little glitching problem and um I got down to my final bet um I think I I wound up going all in because I only had the like the $34 profit from the first shoe so I just put it all in and I just happened to win so I was like, okay, cool. So uh, now I was like, okay, things got really messed up from this point on. And now I'm just trying to get back to where I was. Um, not sure where I was at that point, but I was pretty close. I think I, I might have changed the betting sequence around a little at that point. Um, but I did get back up to $800. And at that time, I was thinking my buy-in was $800 but my buy-in was $900. So I'm actually down $100. So I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> I still got to get to $900. So that's when I started uh, changing the progression a little. And then as I got closer, then I just went back to the original. That's when I went back to the original uh, progression. And details are a little sketchy. <laughs> but um, I survived it. I was like, I'm watching both shoes because as you saw way in the back, there's this big screen, but up close, all I'm seeing is the shoe. I can see the shoe, but I'm not getting any stats or anything. I don't know what hand I'm on. Um, I don't know how many bankers or players have won or ties have come out. There's just, there's no information on my screen, but there is information on the main screen, which is a mile away and you can't see it. So that didn't do me too good, but I could see that the hand count and they were both they got up to 50 hands and they just stayed there and they kept doing hand after hand but the numbers weren't changing anymore so i'm like this is some funky stuff what is going on here so i went up close and i'm looking and i'm watching and they're both stuck at 50 hands but yet it's still playing so i don't know what was going on but i'll tell you that stadium bakra gave me a really really bad experience in fact I doubt I will ever play Stadium Bakra again. <laughs> uh, if I go to a casino again, I will play uh, regular Bakra at a live table because, um, or if the Stadium Bakra is doing a live dealer, because they do have live dealer there doing Stadium Bakra, but <laughs> they never seem to be doing it. <laughs> Anyways, so that was 
my fun Bakura experience. Um, let's take a look at how much I won on this great trip. All right, exciting session all done. You ready to see my profits? There's my bankroll I came with. I got that back. How much profit did I make? You ready? Yeah, buck 75. Let me tell you about it. <laughs> yeah, isn't that exciting? I made a whole dollar 75. <laughs> and I'm lucky to get that cuz really, I came down to that last bet. I was all in. I could have lost the whole $900. But I came away with $1.75, so nothing to brag about there. Had the, the stadium Bakura screw-up thing there. And so, yeah, it was a good learning experience. <laughs> but <laughs> that was luck. Luck, 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 luck to get out of there with anything. So I will gladly take that $1.75. And it wasn't like I went out of my way to get to casino. I was on my way heading home, and I just drive right by it. So that's why I stopped off. But it was fun, it was interesting, I'm not going to do Stadium Bakura again. Alright, now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Alright, here we are back over at the best RNG in the world. This is actually my third casino I've played this one at now. I've switched over to a third casino because of technical difficulties. This casino seems to be doing okay i haven't had the technical difficulties i've had in the past over here with it um lagging and timing me out and having to re-log in um so so far it's been doing really good how it reacts when i'm recording we'll find out but um we're gonna be doing the p4 over here with this betting uh, i got two betting secrets i'm using um over here uh, you see your starting balance is one thousand six hundred seventy nine dollars um, I got two buy-ins that I'll normally be using. Um, my low-end buy-in, which we'll be using today, is $177 for the buy-in. The high-end is $885, which will start at a $5 base unit, which like we just did at the casino. Over here, um, this will be starting at a base bet of one, and the progression's a little longer. So in fact, um, and the one we're going to be using now, we're going to have... Doo -doo 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 uh, 19 chances to win and let's rephrase that you have 19 chances to win two times in a row to reset our goal is to win two times in a row um, and you have 19 chances to do that if you don't do that in 19 you're done so I'm gonna start off with some fresh shoes here uh, let me see I've been Trying to, um, I'm going to start off with three um, hands. Um, I've only been playing this way. I've been trying to tweak it and change it a little for the last, where is it? Did I write it down? I think this is nine days, I think. Nine days, and the results have not been spectacular. I'll tell you that. I am currently up, doing this way, <clears throat> excuse me, $349. So, you know, I've been up, I've been down, I've had uh, three losses, two of which were at the uh, $177 level, and I had one loss yesterday <laughs> at, for $885, um, a loss on that, which actually the actual loss was $792 because I had profit already made. But um, that was after the casino trip. I get home, um, had a good session. Um, I only, here's the typical thing. I only wanted $5. I wanted five more dollars to round things off. And I wound up losing $792. I'm like, well, crap. That really sucks. <laughs> so yesterday, well, day after that, which would be yesterday for me, um, I wound up playing 27 rounds to win back $794 to put me back in the profit zone again. That was a little taxing. That was a lot of play. Um, but the good thing was I did it. Downside to this would be, obviously, getting a second loss during that time would set me back even more. So, you know, I don't know. I'm still playing around with it. Um, it's nice that I've been able to recover from my losses. But, um, you know, with anything, if you get multiple losses, then you're going to be even more in a hole. So, kind of still playing around, tweaking some things. 
Um, like I said, we're going to be using the P4, which is we're going to be betting the chop um, until one side or the other has four in a row. And then we're going to stick with that side until it ends and we'll go back to the chop. All right, so let's just start things off here. Um, obviously, since we're primarily playing the chop, a nice choppy shoe would be nice. Um, but three hands, you're not going to see a whole much. Um, this is just something, another twist I added lately. Um, we're going to start off with these three bankers. And I'm going to start in with a dollar bet, dollar bet two player, which if lost, if it is a loss, then we will automatically be going to the next bet, which would be on banker. So we're just kind of, you know, taking the first two, uh, three losses is virtual, but, um, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay. So let's see what happens here. We're going to go for five units. Um, we'll go for, I don't know how long here. Cause I want to jump over to, um, the live dealer, um, over there, the, uh, at the other casino, the uh, minimum bets, I'm going to be doing $5 over there. So I'll be doing the, um, $885 at risk. Um, just like I did at the casino. So I want to show that. So, um, okay, let's see if we go. Come on, player. Let's see what happens. Banker okay, Banker wins. So we will go to our second bet of a dollar. And the reason I'm using the lower level in here um, at this one is because, you know, I spent all day yesterday betting um, risking a lot of dollars. And, uh, <laughs> That was enough. Let's go right back to risking all that. Okay, so like I said, up three hundred forty-nine dollars. So I'd like to see if we can hang on to some of that right now until I rest up a little. Then we'll hit the hard stuff. Um, so we lost that. So now we're going to be jumping onto the banker side for one. And we lose that one. So we will go a third time for one dollar to banker because now we're going to go back to the chop, which the last one was player. So the next one will be for a chop of banker for a dollar. And banker wins. So now we need to double up our bet and win. If we double up and win, we restart on a new shoe. How I've been doing it over here is I will go do one cycle of two. Uh, I get my two wins, uh, which be, would be the double up. Then I go to another shoe. I don't keep playing. I go to another shoe. On Live Dealer, I, I won't have that option, so I'll have to continue playing on. But over here, I will go to another shoe. So we just got that. We won our double bet. So now we will pick another shoe. <clears throat> Right, let's clear that one off so I don't make the mistake of going back there again. Let's try the first one. Currently looking for a chop to player. So we restart at one. Player wins. All right, player wins. So we'll go for the double up on banker. Be in the chop for two. All right, there we go. Another win, another round completed. So now we will go to another shoe. Let's go table E. Finish it off. Um, player. See if we can double it up and be done. To the banker. <clears throat> and we win. And we got the 684, so that's up five units. And that was our goal, so we are done here. 
take a look at the progression I'm using on the dollar unit base bet. Here's what it looks like. And again, you just need to win twice in a row to complete the cycle. If you like this kind of content, give a thumbs up there, show some likes here. And if you're new, don't, for hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification so you won't miss the next video. All right, let's head over to some live dealer.